My favorite attribute of God is that he is powerful. A scripture verse that implies this to me is Psalms 23 verse 4 where it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. Through this pandemic, God has been powerful enough to recover many, many people. What impresses me about God's power is that he has the ability to fix anything that is damaged. He has the ability to do anything because everything is possible through God. The fact that God is powerful, this brought me more closer to him. This brought me to say more prayers to him because I know he can heal me in many different ways. An example where God was powerful in my life is when I was trying to get back to the Caribbean island of Anguilla, where I'm from, on the third th try because we tried three times and on the third try we got through because we keep we kept praying to God, kept having faith and being hopeful that there is a God and he helped us get there. God is so powerful. My favourite attribute of God is how loving God is because he has this unconditional, all-powerful love for us and God's love is the one thing that never falters and never fails in our lives and will always be there. But so much in our world is all about doing something to receive something in return but we receive God's love without us deserving it or having done anything. Because in Titus 3 verses 4 to 6, it says when the kindness and love of God our saviour appeared he saved us not because of righteous things we have done but because of his mercy and this is so comforting to know that we have done nothing to deserve this love but we still receive God's love in every day of our life and God shows this love by sending his son to die on the cross for us. In Samuel 16 verse 7 it says but the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. This happens when Samuel is told by God to find the next king after he had rejected Saul. So Samuel thinks he should find a king who's tall, strong, good-looking and clever. But God warned him against judging people by appearance alone because appearance doesn't reveal what a person is really like. I love this verse because it teaches us that we don't have to have the best grades or the best outfits to be loved, accepted and used by God. I think that God has many attributes. However, the ones that stand out for me the most are that he is faithful and trustworthy. I think that he is faithful because he is always there for us in the good times and the bad times and I believe that he will always be by your side every step of the way of your journey, providing for us in our times of need. And I also think that his faithfulness is unchanging because no matter what happens to us, he will never forget us and he will never fail us um, because he has a plan for us. And I also think he is trustworthy as I feel you can always count on him because he's there to help you and he's there to do the right thing for you because he has a plan for us even though there may be setbacks or obstacles along the way he will be there to guide us towards the goal we are able to achieve. This reminded me of a verse in Psalm 37 verse 5 where it says commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will act. And I think this is saying that if you put your whole trust and your whole faith into the Lord, you'll be able to do anything and achieve anything as there is no limit to what you would be able to succeed. This reminded me of another verse in Psalm 9 where it says, Those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. And I think this is also saying that um, the Lord is so faithful and so trustworthy that people are able to put your trust in him as trust is a two-way system because you need to be able to put your trust in him for him to be also to be able to put your trust in you and um, I think also putting your trust in anyone is such a big thing to do because it is allowing someone to come into your life and be able to just advise you or do whatever they need to do and you need to be able to trust them and I think that once you do put your whole faith and trust into the Lord 
nothing bad would or could ever happen as it says he, he will never forsake you which means that he will never leave you or he will never abandon you um, and I think that he will always be by your side and this is saying that even if you might leave him or might lose your trust in him he will never do that to you